the list. I don't know, man. But you know who else was in Final Fantasy VII? Final Fantasy VII is not dead or alive. Who else is in Final Fantasy VII? Cloud. That's right. There he is. He saw Tifa, and he had to, like, represent his girl. He's like, that's my friend. That's my friend. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're quote, friends. That's right. my friend. I don't know if you got to the end of disc two, but okay. So here we go. <laughs> Mercury fighting off against Ling Ling. Here we go. So uh, Mercury representing Cloud Strife. Ling Ling with the Peach as usual. Now, this matchup can be a little hairy, right? Because in, back in uh, Smash 4, you know, that's when... Oh, my God! Well, we're not oh in Smash God. 4, baby. We're right here Dude. in Ultimate. Where Nair is locking. Nair locks on the platform? That was disgusting. That was grody. I didn't like that at all. I loved it. Damage that's builds up like so it. fast. And, like, Ling has this stuff studied. He's super quiet, but he lets his actions speak for him. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get to see how devastating of a player he is. His combo game is so clean. And Cloud is the type of character where... He dies to a turn up off stage yeah. because he has no recovery. He has no limit. Yeah. Good that's, night. That's the case. Cloud has to win this matchup on stage because once he's off stage, even with limit, it's such a dangerous situation. Because mm. with limit, at best, he gets himself back at the ledge. But now you're just getting ledge trapped by Peach, which is fun for no one. So if Cloud at full power can't handle that, how do you think he's going to do it while he's building up? And that's exactly why Ling Ling's chilling center stage and just trying to keep him on that corner because the second he knows he gets him off stage without a double jump, he's pretty much done for without limit. He's off stage. He, he suffers from what I like to call the Krom syndrome. You just can't get back to stage sometimes if the player on stage is in control. But look out for this limit. Ling Ling's got to be like insanely careful because there could be a cross slash coming his way. That, that was a potential one right there. I think he just rolled away because he was too scared. That could have even been like out of shield climb hazard. Some people, when they're in the middle of neutral, they just like to roll away because they want to reset back. Uh, like, when they feel like a little bit risky, if they roll away, it kind of resets instead of trying to apply this pressure, trying to get the reads. But in the beginning, you know, it is the first stock, second stock, technically. Don't there's, roll there's, 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 there's still a lot of, you know, habits to try to find out, try to find out, like, when they feel pressured and stuff. Ling Ling! He actually had a read there. You saw Mercury, Mercury opting to go for the jump. He could land on that platform and run through. He had a force smash ready to go, but Mercury stopped short right in front of that golf club. High recoveries on both ends. Both players make it back to the stage, and I feel I want to see more out of shield climb hazard. Up B for Cloud is such a good get off me tool, and I feel like that's what we need to see a bit more of. And, <laughs> and lately, honestly, he could chill down there for a while with that float. Yeah, man. Cross slash. I want it so bad. It would apply so much shield pressure. He's, wa so he's waiting out smart. the limit. Throw it out. Just throw it out. There you go. He's there you go. That's all you got to do. Pressure him. The thing is, Ling Ling was going off stage to wait out the limit. And that's why he was floating down there. So Mercury is like, you know what? I'm just going to throw out anything. A blade beam, what have you, to force an action out of Ling Ling and get the punish right afterwards. Smart stuff. I would have been a dummy and just cross slashed. I'm actually curious to see like why Mercury hasn't gone for other limit options, or at the very least used Blade Beam against the ledge. Because if you're going to see Peach constantly trying that's to reset, what he did. he like, threw it against the ledge. I want to see more of that. Oh, we'll, see, we'll see it. We'll see it, Hangman. I promise you. Like Blade Beam, it's a much better tool in this game from previous, especially Limit Blade Beam. But I feel like there's a lot of situations where you really just just DP, just do that, but do that against Ling Ling while you're on stage. Okay, 192%. Going for a lot of rolls from Mercury. Ling Ling might catch on to that sooner or later. But he's trying to live the dream because Cloud is bleeding, man. My knee needs a potion ASAP. I'll be at a shield. Couldn't get the second swing to connect. Unfortunately, but catches the air dodge right in front of him. Look, I'm trying to apply pressure with that back air, but that's not the same back air from the previous game. Not going to be as safe. Ling Ling just goes for a quick burst option dash attack to send Cloud flying. That would turn up in hand. That's kind of funny, though. Yeah. I feel like Mercury just hasn't figured out what he needs to do to get in on Peach. Because a lot of like the little hits he's getting are these just minor trades, hmm. where Ling doesn't go for any committal option, and Mercury happens to get a hit in. But he's playing catch-up so hard right now. And that was good spacing from Mercury. You saw him landing that back here right away from him. Doesn't allow him to be able to get grabbed by Ling or shield grab or whatever out of shield option Ling wants to go for against him. And now Mercury, he's got the setup. He just needs to land the limit correctly. Does that the Blade Beam again just to give him some pressure to get back onto the stage safe and sound? I agree with that limit break. Blade Beam, you know, just giving him some breathing room to get back to the stage safe, safely. Like it occupies space, yes, but Mercury has, he's gotten punished for it every time. Like he hasn't had a, a good landing yet. He hasn't connected them, so they haven't dealt any damage yet. And it stalls him in the air a little bit, but so does Cross Slash. Like there yeah. are better options, and I feel like Mercury's going to have to find them in game too, because Ling Ling's taking that game one confidently. You know, when those hips send Cloud flying, you know, it, it just goes to show 
He's more of an upper guy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. All right, so we got game one going to <laughs> Ling Ling, taking away on PS2. Now we got Mercury with the counter pick. I don't know what other character Mercury has in his arsenal. He might be sticking with the cloud. Honestly, he was doing a good job. He just needs to, like, fine-tune some stuff, as well as, you know, he's getting outplayed a bit by Ling Ling. Yeah. So there's always that thing when you, if you play multiple characters, a lot of players' habits is, oh, I lost. Therefore, I should switch characters to mix it up. No, it's okay to stay the same character, especially if it's one of your strongest. I think that's exactly what he's doing. He's hovering over cloud. Going to stick with it, and I agree with this choice. Especially on Smashville for stage yeah. two. Extremely small stage. Has that small that little platform in the middle to be able to let him run around. So we'll see if he can get to try to get the job done. we trying to close the distance as fast as possible against Ling Ling. So here we go, game number two. That platform is going to be like such a no man's land because both Peach and Cloud can occupy that space super well. <laughs> he just mashed, I'm sorry, he just mashed up B. That's what I want to see. Air. Out of forward air. He just mashed it. He's like, oh, I, that, that did some shield pressure. I'm about to get punished. Here's an up B, man. I love it. I love how B's out of shield. It's my favorite move in the game. Dude, Cloud needs some space. Give him some space. Oh, he's off stage. Oh, he could have potentially air dodged to hold on to that limit, but didn't want to risk it. Went for the invincibility onto the ledge to make sure that he didn't, like, die. That's fair enough. Yeah. Okay, back air upon landing. Takes the trade. Had a little bit of stage control, but Ling Ling mixing up by going for the side B right above his head. Give him a little bit of a haircut. And like instantly going in for the back air right after it, mm. like keeping the cloud out. Smart moves from Ling Ling. One thing to remember is that like not a lot of aspects of this matchup has changed. Yes, the character's tools have shifted about as far as from game to game, but Ling Ling is like ironclad in how he fights against Cloud. And Mercury just ran right out there. You saw him go for the cross slash limit. Unfortunately, could not find its mark, and he put himself at such a bad position because he went all out. And also, he hasn't done that the entire set. Like you like said, he wasn't even going for limit cross slash. And the one time he does, gets punished hard for it. You gotta be careful about that, you know? Only go for it if you know it's gonna land. Try to maintain that stage control a little bit more. All right, here we go, Ling Ling. Oh, he's out of jumps, forward he's air, out of Ling options. Ling. I mean, honestly, that was just a free kill for Ling Ling with, with Peach of all characters, and you can just float off stage, tank the very easy forward air. Mercury is hurting. He's at lost two stocks in the past 20 seconds. That's Thanks. rough business, man. Out of jumps, used his air dodge, had no limit. Like, he was cooked. Right your will, man. And now it's just it's just going to get worse and worse for him as we're getting going. Combos are starting once again. I think he didn't have a jump in that situation, but sure, down it works. Yeah, uh, that was a good add a shield option for Mercury. Try to get some momentum going here. I mean, he's already sitting at 72%. Let's see if he's going to hold on. Oh, he's going to throw it out just some, for some free damage against Ling Ling. Let it rip, because that... Oh, my God! Call him out on the ledge. Get up. Go for the forward smash. This momentum shift might be good for him, but wait, he's off stage. Good mix-up. He recovered high. That was such a good bait from Ling Ling. He used the cross slash to buy himself some time. Now he's getting back onto the stage, goes for the get-up attack to give himself some invincibility to call it that down smash, but fantastic parry from Ling Ling. Turnups just finished him off. Good game. All right. Well, by the very end of that, I feel like Mercury really had like all the pieces fall into place for how he wanted to play the game. He could have brought that back. That was doable. That you was you saw doable. how much momentum that man had until the second he got caught by that second down smash, sealed his entire fate. Because the first down smash, you know, used the ledge attack, abused the invincibility from that to be able to just smack his opponent away. I love this right here. Just a down air, just out of shield, just to send a peach going flying. I'll be honest with you, honestly. I love Cloud in this game. Same. And I feel like given time, a lot of time, mind you, people are going to figure out how to utilize his tools and, like, optimize his stage play. Well, p characters are uh, players are already starting to do that. You saw Spargo over yes. at uh, Wednesday Night Fights, the fifteen thousand dollar tournament over in California. He got fourth, and he was just thirteen year old kid from Mexico. The only thing he's like was really notable for doing was uh, entering, uh, winning the Naifu Wars, the Ultimate Naifu Wars, okay. uh, back on the online tournament for Nairo. And beyond that, like he hasn't really had like that big of an America presence. So his first time travel, not his first time, but like him traveling to Southern California right. to attend that tournament to get fourth place, defeating some big names. I can't remember the names of the character players he beat off the top of my head, but they, you know they were like it's the, a lengthy. It was yeah, a big bracket. They, they had they had Japanese players there. They had some players traveling 